Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? It's uh, Jenkin6 and I'm here with uh, uh, um, a lock update. I just figured I'd uh, give you guys a, an update, let you guys know what's going on in my continuous lock journey. Um, as you guys can see, I have hand to hair itis really bad um, and it never stopped. It's, it was from the moment my, my lock started forming and I could do this without taking out, you know, without disturbing the, the uh, process, I just can't stop. Um, my locks now are 38 and a half months old. Well, and uh, my regimen hasn't really changed much. Um, if you guys know me and have been following me, you know that I will change my oils frequently or just not frequently but periodically. I feel like um, my hair will respond um, to the different oils the way your body and your muscles respond to muscle confusion. Just my own little theory. But, um, and then me, I like trying different things and what gets me most, what really sells me most for an oil is the fragrance. So, um, I the last oil that I used, I think was the, uh, the rose water and glycerin oil, and I found that mixed. I still use that every now and then, but you know, I just found something else that I wanted to try. And I have recently purchased this oil, Organics Carrot Tea Tree Oil Therapy. This one. Now, if you guys can find any of my old videos, uh, then you will see that I'm really not a fan of tea tree oil. But I decided to use this because, oh my god, this smells so good. It smells almost edible, really. It smells so good. But anyway, um, I use this for what I do with this. Let me, let me, let me show you how to do it. I always save my, my little spray bottles. But I did have a little bit of this left in my, uh, a little bit of Nature Shine left in here. And I mixed the uh, carrot oil in here with it. And I just spray my scalp, really. I don't just put it on my locks. I spray my scalp and I make sure that my scalp is moisturized. And it actually, my lock pulls the oil into it. So I don't really have to oil my lock like that. But what I also do is... I'll use it for a, for a hot oil treatment, and it's really, really nice. It's really nice, and it's made by Africa's Best. You can see that on the side, Africa's Best, made by Africa's Best. So I'm really thinking that, you know, they have a really good line of, uh, of oils. They really do. Okay, um, this only costs like... Two dollars and ninety-eight cent. So I got two of them, and I'm really pleased with it. Now I do still spritz my hair, like maybe twice, twice a month. No, not I'm sorry, twice a week. And I had a little bit of the Miracle Ginseng Miracle Wonder Eight Oil, and I miss uh, put water in, in there, and I put a little bit of the carrot oil in there. And then I just spritz when I do spritz. Um, I don't wash my hair as much as I used to. I used to wash my hair every week. I don't do that anymore. I probably wash it every 10 days to every 2 weeks. But you know, sometimes just washing my hair is like therapy. It's like such a relaxing, therapeutic uh, event. You guys know I'm not much for styling my hair. Every now and then I'll do a braid out, but... You know, with my busy schedule, I my busy work schedule, um, I don't find myself doing very many braid outs. Um, I, I'm still waiting for that growth spurt that everybody says you get in three years. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting, waiting for that. I guess it will come sooner or later. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, as far as like maintaining my roots. Uh, for the most part, I'll say I still interlock. Every now and then when I get in the, in the mood to just let it go, 
I'll let my new growth get to about that long and then I'll twist it. And I just do that for basically uh, aesthetic reasons. Just sometimes I like the way that twisted look looks. I haven't colored my hair in a while, you guys. I'm really not trying to put any more color in my hair, but you know what? Every time I say that, I end up the next video, you see my hair a different color. But I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Um, shampoo. I still use um, whatever I get my hands on, basically. I The last thing I used was um, Suave Clarifying Shampoo, and I mixed it with Cool of Nature. Let me get the shampoo. The last shampoos that I use, I, I kind of mixed them, was the Suave Clarifying Shampoo. It's really good. Very inexpensive, and it's really good. And I mix it with the Cream of Nature Kiwi and Citrus Ultra Most Moisturizing Shampoo. Now, back in the day when my hair wasn't like fully, 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 fully locked and mature, I used this and my lot started kind of like unraveling. But I don't have that problem now. And they make, it makes my hair feel so, so, so good. It's so soft and, you know, moisturized. I like it a lot. So, um, yeah, those are the shampoos I use. Oh, the lint problem. I'm just updating everything. The lint problem. I haven't really had much of a lint problem lately. I did buy my uh, lock socks. You guys saw that. Um, and I use them, but honestly, not as much as I should. And I, um, I, uh, been looking. I don't see a lot of lint in my hair. Let me give you guys a little something. So my, my locks are pretty, pretty clean, pretty healthy. Um, oh, one more thing. I had a two-headed dread, not a two-headed dread, one that I had combined. And let me see if I can find that one for you guys. This is it right here. And I had combined this a while, you know, I think you guys remember. And now it's almost all the way combined. And what I do is I'll just twist it like this all the way around. Because I don't want any two headed dragons. So, yeah, that's what I do. So, that's pretty much it for my lock update. I'm going to give you guys a side view and a back view of my hair. You guys see the front of me. Put this back a little bit. Okay. Now, I think so. Um, front view. I hope you guys were able to see all that and I think this video has been long enough. Okay, you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend. This is J6 with the lock update. Peace.